Okay guys, today I'm going to be doing the USB mod on here. It's another very simple mod to do. You just need to take the Brazilian screws out. Uh, what we'll need to do is a T9 hex screw and a Phillips. The Phillips are just for two screws in there, which I'm going to take out first. So I'm going to try and keep it as simple as possible. I'm going to try and leave the legs on. just need to take one screw out of each. Um, I'll try and get it over and done with as quick as possible. The first thing we're going to do, while well, it's all together, is we need to pull this piece of plastic back, plastic case, to get to the two screws here. Let's do that, you just need to get your fingers on top, get it pushed down and pull it back, and it comes off. It can be a bit stiff, um, but you just give it a push down and pull back and it'll come off. And we're going to need our Phillips screwdriver. So the Phillips, you know what to do is you'll see the two holes when you open it up. You'll stick that in and just lefty loose them screws out. Just one out. Just kind of what seems to come out this one. There we go. So got two screws out there. Okay, so I'll just leave that like that for now. We don't need the Phillips anymore. We'll do the T9. And I'm going to take the big screws off the legs. So they're the inside screw. Just while I'm doing this, as you can see, I've already done the FPV mod on there. I am going to be changing this for one of Cruise Roy's plastic cages. It does get really hot, even with the cooler on there. I've just taken me. I've already taken the aerial off there, just to get in there a bit better. I should have taken the screws out as I as I'm done them really. Myself in a bit of a situation here. They are wrapped on the other wires inside as well, it makes it a bit shorter, so I might unwrap them before I put it back together. Try not to move it with the loose mortars. Mm. 
It's the FPV, FPV rose to attach them. Yeah, it's all come off nice and easy. Still got the screws in there, so I can just place that back on top. So just whilst I'm in, I'm just going to untangle these because they give me a bit, bit more room to play with when I'm taking them out. Without. So it's just give me a bit more room to plug them back in. Now I just want to take my antenna out. If I the FPV, where's that one gone? Over there, still in the bottom one, so I'll remove that in a moment. Just want to take this out because I've already unplugged it. So just a couple of clips, and there's the end. Okay, so I've got my USB. Just see where this is. It's just sitting underneath here, coming this way. So I think I can do this. Okay, so I've taken this off just so I can show you where the USB goes, because there is something in the way. Um, where am I there? Um, you can zoom in there. You can see that. So that's where it sits, but you can see. So we've got that in the way of the USB. Which is there. And there's the USB. You've got this in the way. So I've managed to get the USB through. Um, it's quite tricky to do it. So it's there. I've just I've put a mark on plastic there where I'm going to cut out. It goes underneath the board. See the way there. And you can see it plugged in there. Right, it's on a bit of an angle. It's not very straight because it's a, you see the black thing in the way. And it's quite tricky to get in and it's quite tricky to feed it back through. So if you can, get the smallest USB you can. The smallest wire because it's quite thick this one. And it is a bit of a pain to manoeuvre. But I'm going to go and cut where I've marked on there now and hot glue it in there and then I'll put it back together. Okay, okay so I've cut out the hole for the USB, it's going to go there. I've not screwed it together yet, I'm just showing you what it's going to look like. So that's the hole for the USB in. And that will come back off. So you can see in there the wire goes. It is a bit fiddler to get it in, but I've just used a Dremel. I'm just going to neaten that up now, um, and then put it back together, and I get it connected to the mission planner and sort the compass out. I think I've done a good job there. Right, there. 